Nothing's happening. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show us Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Today on Tasty Tuesday, we are gonna make some hot avocado with coconut. Huh? What do you say? Psych, just kidding. Although I really want to, just for the sake of continuing to do hot avocado and coconut every week. Is she gonna change it? We don't know. We never know this week. But I won't do that. I was thinking about it the other day and Steve and I have been married almost one full year. Can you freaking believe that? Like what, what is time? Where does it go? Where? I just like to think that there's a pile of time somewhere and we're like, that, that's where you go. Why? We've been all looking for you. Anyway, been almost a year and there are some wedding gifts that we have gotten that we have never used, such as this. This R2D2 looking thing is an instant pot. Supposedly it cooks your food really fast for you, up to 70% faster. Whoa, brag about it. It looks really intimidating, but I am a huge fan of making your appliances into cooking slaves for you. I like that, I'm into it. As soon as robots gain consciousness, they're totally gonna destroy us. Anyway, I finally looked up a recipe for the Instant Pot and it's for mushroom risotto. I love mushrooms, I love mushroom risotto. It's not gonna be the kind that takes forever stirring it on the pot right here. It's gonna be the kind that the robot does for you. I found it from the Edgy Veg, I love her. Shout out to Candace, but what? She's Great, I trust her. Hopefully this works. If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna be like, you know what, That's I knew I couldn't trust robots. Let's make this dish. Step one, grab your avocado and your coconut. And you tell them, I love you, but not today. Stop, yeah, maybe later. Don't, <laughs> stop. They're, they're watching us. I love you too, okay, bye. <clears throat> what? You saw nothing. Step one, we're gonna take a big bowl of toilet looking water. Nope. I dissolved two teaspoons of butter than bouillon in four cups of water. We're gonna take this, and then we're gonna take... There is no counter space with you here. Sorry, I didn't mean to yell. I'm so sorry. Please like me. I want you to do a good job. Then we're gonna take two cups of dried porcini mushrooms. I could only find one bag of these, which I think is only one cup. If you can't find dried mushrooms, don't freak out. Skip this step. Let's just see if this is two cups. This is almost two cups. Not quite, but it's... It's almost, so we're just gonna use what we got. And we're just gonna pop this in the microwave for five minutes or until it simmers. Oh, 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 why are, what? I don't understand, communicate better, machine. There we go. Now cook for me, bitch. Just kidding, you're not a bitch, oh my god. Our mushrooms are done microwaving. I'm just taking care of something really important first. It'll just be a second. Important stuff happening right here now. Really important stuff, really. Just really important, okay, hold on, it's really important. Now we're gonna take our mushrooms out of the microwave. Hopefully they're all, they did what they're supposed to do. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, you look good. Damn sexy. If you like mushrooms, you will love this smell. If not, why are you, why'd you click on this video? We're gonna take a slotted spoon and we're gonna fish out all of these mushrooms. I was worried about this water boiling over in the microwave and spilling out because there wasn't mushroom. Oh boy, we're having fun. Or are we having fun guy? <laughs> That's it, I used them all. I don't, there's no more puns for the rest of the video. It was a good run. So with the mushrooms that we fished out of our mushroom water, we're going to, oh my gosh, you need to calm down. We're going to roughly chop these. Maybe don't roughly chop them on a ceramic plate, but also, fuck it, you know? We'll live in life, there's not much time. We're gonna set aside both the mushrooms and the mushroom broth. Just set it aside on all of your bountiful counter space. Yep. We're gonna take our Instant Pot and we're gonna plug it into the wall. <gasps> Whoa, does that, was that you? What, was that, what the fuck? That made a noise but it, nothing lit up. Oh my God, that was so scary. I don't trust this. Nothing's happening. You guys, I'm not kidding. I don't think my pressure cooker works. Like it doesn't work. None of these buttons do anything. It beeped at me and then it died. I'm so sorry, I was just busting your balls. I wasn't serious. I talked too much shit about my robot and it's not gonna work for me. It's like, fuck this, I'm out. I've never used this and I never will. I will never know what it's like to own and use a pressure cooker. I can't believe this. Okay, this happens to people in life. This is why I don't trust robots. I was right, you know? You know what? Thanks for proving me right. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Balance is never okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try doing the recipe on the stove, myself, without a robot slave. Yay. I have no idea how to make risotto or if I even, if this recipe even works for the stove. I don't know, I don't know. I did too much prep work to just quit. So we're just gonna do that. That's what we're gonna do. You don't wanna work? 
Good. You know what? One last appliance in my tiny kitchen. Get ready for this. This is about to get really exciting. We're gonna take a pot like this size, hopefully. Take your avocado and coconut and just go to bed. No, we're gonna take our pot and we're gonna put it on a medium, medium heat. Yeah, I need more of this. Mm -hmm. I told you that was an important step. To our pot that is currently on medium heat, we're gonna put two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and half a stick of butter, which is a fourth a cup. Now we're gonna take one pound of mixed mushrooms that have been roughly chopped. These have been really roughly chopped. And also, I don't know if it's a pound. I just kind of guessed. I got some baby bella mushrooms, some crimin creamy mushrooms, and some shiitake. I didn't really say what kind of mushrooms, so I just went with the first ones that called out to me. Guys, this is fun! This is fun, guys! Can we use it again? We're having a rough time. What are we doing with this? Season with a pinch of salt and pepper. I got it. A pinch, a pinch. We're gonna cook mushrooms stirring occasionally for eight to 10 minutes, do it. Or if you have an instant pot, do it in that if it works. Okay, after our mushrooms have been sauteing for eight to 10 minutes, we're gonna add one medium yellow onion, finely chopped, and two or three or five garlic cloves. We don't know if this dish is gonna turn out anyway. So the more garlic, the better. And we're gonna add those porcini mushrooms that we set aside earlier. Porcini! And we're gonna stir this for three to five minutes until the onions get kind of soft. Like your self-confidence after your Instant Pot doesn't work. I'll never forget this. Next, we're gonna add a cup and a half of arborio rice. Again, just an item that I had in my pantry. Why did I have it? Oh yeah, I think I made a mug, I attempted a mug risotto one time. It didn't work, spoilers. This one might not work either. We're gonna saute that in with our mushrooms. Get them nice and toasty for like three minutes or until they turn like golden brown but they're not burnt. Weirdly, we don't want them burnt. Once our arborio rice is slightly toasted but not burnt, we're gonna add a tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of white miso. Okay, it's a party. Oh my god, stop! Too much party! How do you open? <laughs> I quit, I quit. I wanna quit all the time. We are running out of time. I don't want this to burn. Oh my god, you're so annoying. Now we're gonna add three fourths a cup of our dry white wine. I don't really know if this is dry. Seems pretty wet to me. <laughs> I'll be here all night. Really, because I don't know how long this is gonna take. Three fourths cup! That's a little too much. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna stir this for two minutes or until the wine has evaporated slightly. Here's the part where I'm gonna just pretend like I know what I'm doing and then you can tell me where I went wrong later. Because we don't have a pressure cooker, we're gonna take half of our broth that we set aside and we're gonna put it in here. I think. I don't know. That's about half. We're gonna stir it really well. Then I'm gonna put a lid on it and I'm gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes or until like some of the liquid is absorbed Most of the liquid is absorbed. I don't know. I'm, I feel like I'm guessing and that you're gonna answer me But by the time you comment, I won't hear you 15 minutes If you're doing this with a pressure cooker You would just need to like lock the thing and then do it for five minutes and you'd be completely done But we don't have that luxury do we? See in 15 minutes. We're not even 10 minutes in and the liquid is pretty much all absorbed so we're gonna add some more liquid now, and this time I'm gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer. Maybe that's what I should have done. Okay, so I'm adding the rest of the liquid, stirring it really, really good, turning the heat down to like a medium low. I don't know. And then I'm gonna put it in for another 10 minutes. Basically, we win the game if there is most of the liquid gets absorbed and it tastes like a good thing. Hopefully we win. If not, we have this. Important step. What did I tell you earlier? Listen to me. I know things. I've experienced life. Unlike you. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the liquid is still not absorbed. Mayhaps we turn the heat down too low. So I'm gonna turn the heat back up, put the cover on, and maybe do five more minutes. I'm gonna stir this real good first. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 boy, yeah. Five more minutes. Heat up a little bit more. We are but young chefs in this kitchen. We know not what we do, but we're learning. Please work, please work, please work, please work. Oh yeah, it's been five minutes and maybe we turned the heat up too high. It's a little bit sticking to the pot, but you know what? Not, it's not sticking to the pot, so that's good. It's just almost, it kind of like, you know, took a little elbow grease. 
Elbow grease? Why do we call it that? Anyway, it took that. So I think we're good, woo! Does it taste good? I don't know. We're gonna find out. Put your patient pants on. I'm gonna turn off the heat here, bye bye. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a fourth a cup of cashew cream. Cashew cream is really easy to make. You just take a cup of raw cashews, a half a cup of water, you blend it in your blender with some salt, and voila, you got cashew cream. It could substitute cream in any recipe. This is like the shit. I actually like it a million times better than regular cream, but if you don't have cashew cream, you could also substitute for soy cream, or you could substitute for regular cream. A fourth a cup of that. This was like the first thing I prepped. We're just gonna stir that in there until we have a nice, creamy consistency. Oh my gosh, this might have worked. Oh my gosh, this totally worked. This tastes really good, Psst. it's tasty. Steve is in the other room though. He doesn't know that anything went bad at all. Let's see if he thinks it's tasty. Oh my gosh, so good, so good. We did it, look at you, we did it. <gasps> in your face. D -d 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 Damn boy, we had a lot of obstacles thrown our way today. I garnished this with some freshly chopped Italian parsley. Oh my gosh, this is so fresh. Yeah, yeah. What do we got? We got some creamy mushroom risotto going it on here. It smells like stuffing in here. Yeah? 100%. Oh, okay. Well, did your mom put stuffing? Oh, did your mom put mushrooms in her stuffing? She must have. Oh, it's really hot. You're really hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, bud. Yeah? That's you like it? Good. Yeah, it's great. Yes, is it tasty? Very. It's tasty! I told you. And it's carbs. It's carbs, yeah. We haven't been eating carbs for awesome. quite a bit now. I love yeah, carbs. Awesome. Do you want to hear my story? Do you want to hear all my woes, my yeah, life woes? Yeah, what's your woes? Okay, so this was supposed to be Instant Pot mushroom risotto. Okay. This Instant Pot won't even turn on. What do you mean? It won't even turn on. It doesn't work. The one we got for our wedding? Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, so shit. Um, I had to pretend I knew what I was doing and make it the old fashioned way on the stove, right. which took like 40 minutes longer. And oh, also I've never made risotto and didn't really know how to make risotto. Uh -huh. um, so I just kind of like winged it and guessed. It's really good. And it turned out so good. I'm yeah. so happy. Have you tried it already? Uh, I did. I tr tried a little bit because I was like, oh my God, I, please just like, please. Yeah, this please is really good. This is so good. Oh my god. I guess it was a blessing in disguise nice. because the Instant Pot didn't work so it took 30 minutes longer. But now I know that I can cook it the old fashioned way on the stove. And Edgy Veg's recipe works on the stove. You just have to do it like longer. But yeah, this recipe is bomb. So good. Ugh, thank god. I was considering quitting. Really? But yeah, because I'm like, what do I do? I don't have another recipe for risotto, yeah. and this was my instant pot recipe. No, this is the jam. And um, I was like, you know what, fuck it. If we at least try it yeah. on the stove and it doesn't work, then we tried it, and it works so good. Honestly, that instant pot is a little bitch, and it did not deserve to live in our house for a year. It was on our fridge unused. for a long time. It was here for a long time, too long. Waste of space, bud. Waste of space. Anyway, it's tasty. Yay, we did it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we did it. Make this, oh my gosh, make this. Totally make this, especially if you like mushrooms. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time, bye. Ooh.